I made some cold calls today. And as a matter of fact, matter of fact, I didn't get one yes. Um, but I did have one of them that said, why don't you stop in the office and uh, maybe the boss man will work something out with you. I said, okay, so I'll probably do that tomorrow. But anyways, about 30 minutes after I did my cold call, another gentleman called me, AC guy, Long Beach Road. He says, are you scrapping with Grandpa? Talking to myself. I wonder where he heard that from. But I said, yeah. I'm scrapping with Grandma. I said, uh, Gram Grandma. Uh, Grandpa. He said, are you still picking up scrap metal? I said, yeah. And I said, did I just call you recently? Like today? Um, how did you find me? He said, I just Googled scrap metal in Southport, North Carolina. And I found you. So I gave you a call. You still picking up, right? And I said, yeah, I still pick it up. He said, well, I've got air conditioners, compressor motors, aluminum, copper, brass. I got a little bit of everything. I don't feel like scrapping it myself, so if you want it, you can come down here and grab it. He said, but you better bring a trailer. So I knew there was going to be quite a bit. So I had all of them, um, which I haven't made a video of yet. I had all the golf cart chargers in there, the uh, aluminum spindles for the wheels, I mean, just an ungodly amount of stuff. Already in the back of my truck, so I said, all right, well, since this is all stuff that has to be processed and what the stuff that I have in my trailer has to be processed, I might as well just go ahead and bring my trailer down with what's in it and uh, fill it up. So when I got there and looked, I was like, wow. I mean, I, seriously, I was like, wow, that's a lot of stuff. He said, bring me some of your business cards. So I did. I brought him some of my, I'm going to do whatever thing. So there we go. So brought him some of these. It's crackle with Grandpa. Looks like me, don't it? So I brought him some business cards. He said, thank you. And I said, from now on, <coughs> instead of bringing this stuff back to the shop, since you work in Bowling Springs, Southport, and Oak Island, and that's my area, I said, why don't you just call me? I'll come straight to your job, pick it up. He said, oh man, that'd be so awesome because every time I finish a job, I gotta send two guys down to the job site to pick up the stuff and bring it back here and drop it off. Now that's a pain in the butt. I said, perfect. You don't have to do that anymore. Just call Scrap with Grandpa and I'll come down there and pick it up. And I'll pick it up for free. And uh, he said, you got a deal so he said he changes 10 and sometimes more units a day at this time of year because of the heat is so intense so um he said from now on i'm gonna call your number and i'm gonna call you a day ahead of time and say drew this is the address i want you to come down here tomorrow after such and such a time and pick up my air conditioners or whatever i have there i said that works for me so Big Red Bullion gave me the idea to cold call. This guy was not a cold call. He actually found me online, scrapping with Grandpa. He found my YouTube channel and uh, called me. But um, I'm going to do some more cold calling because I think that that is going to produce uh, some more contacts. So thank you, Big Red, for the for the uh, heads up on uh, how to get scrap metal or how you get yours. And I'm going to do the same thing. In the meantime, I have got a trailer and my back of my truck for that matter. I mean, I'm loaded to the gills with automobile parts, period. Uh, yeah, automobile parts and I'm full. So that's my other honey hole so, um, that you've seen me at a lot. It's, it's way overloaded, so I figured I better go ahead and just get rid of it. I'm not bringing scrap metal shred back to my house. I know it's only six cents a pound right now, maybe maybe a little more for this kind of stuff I don't know but for um, appliance uh, metal I get six cents a pound that's a thousand a thousand pounds Whew, 60 bucks it's killing me but anyway it is what it is so it will go up eventually I'm hoping for my building here in about eight weeks and when I get that I'll be able to stockpile more stuff which I'm stockpiling aluminum and everything else right now but anyways uh, 
I'm headed to the scrap yard and I will be doing a video of my pickup and my drop off. The aluminum radiators, uh, extrusion metal, all that kind of stuff. I'm hanging on to every bit of that until after this damn slump goes down because I'm not giving my extrusion metal for 40 cents a pound, you know, uh, or, or anything like that. I'm not gonna do it. When it's up, when the price is up, I get 90. And I'm not gonna do less than half price on my aluminum. When I know it will go up again, and I have, I have at least a quarter of an acre of land that I can use, maybe more, for my holding on to my aluminum and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to do. Anyways, for now, until next time, peace, Scott and Grandpa. See you on the next one. And yes, I've been working all day. I am an absolute mess. See you on the next one. Make sure to slam that like button, please, and subscribe if you like watching people scrap metal recycle.